Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop room upgrade. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Uh, today the question we are going to be answering is, what are my thoughts on the Folded Space FS Zaya box insert? This is a box insert from FoldedSpace.com, and I do have to thank Folded Space for sending us a review copy of this to check out. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be taking the contents of my copy of Zaya, Legends of Adrift System right here. This nice big box, which includes the core game and all of the Kickstarter exclusives and the Ember of the Forsaken Stars and the Cell Sword and the extra money. Everything you can get for Zaya I have in here, but it's not very well organized. So first I'm going to show you what how I've got it organized. Then we're going to build this insert. We're going to see how long it takes. You can watch me build it. And then I'm going to get the stuff from this box into out of this and then into that and then see how this is all well organized. The end goal being to get Zaya, which is a fantastic sci-fi sandbox game, to the table more often. Because that's when I think any box insert is worth it, is when it helps you get to the table more often and actually improves gameplay. And from what I can see, this is going to be a great way to take stuff right out of the box, put it on the table, sort the different ship upgrades, have everything in a nice, easy-to-access place while playing. So enough about that. What we're going to do first, I'm going to show you what's inside the box. But to do that, we're going to switch the camera down. So here we have the, the box organizer. We're going to put that off to the side. And I'll show you how I currently have my copy of Zaya organized. Which, to be honest, isn't the best. You just got everything tossed in the box with baggies. Now, the original Zaya comes with a box insert, which is great. It works great. It's a fantastic box insert. But once you add Embers of a Forsaken Star, it no longer fits. And you end up with this mess. Like boxes, baggies, bags of cards ship things, they upgrade, all your cubes are just kind of tossed into things, little things for the players, everything just in one mess here. It's not terrible, it works, it just kind of took the box over and poured out on the table and let everyone kind of sort through everything, but it's definitely not optimal. So I'm going to put this away for now because we don't need this till we're done, and then we're going to open up this box. All right, so this is my first time cracking this open. This is how the package came to me from Folded Space. Um, just nice cardboard box, some information here. Uh, one thing I do have to say before I get started, this does say no tools necessary. By tools, they mean like you don't need an X-Acto or um, a knife or a screwdriver or anything, but you will need some form of white glue. Now, they do recommend quick drying wood glue. That I do not have. I just have some all-purpose white glue, which will still work. That is a lot of sheets. So supposedly it takes about half an hour to build a six sheet insert, and that's if you're a pro. So this is gonna take some time. This is way more than six sheets. Let's see just how many we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine sheets. Alrighty. All right, so we're gonna start. We have the instructions. They are two-sided. There's lots of stuff going on here. Package contains nine sheets, four identical to the other four and one different sheet. After assembly, the trays are put in three layers in the original game box. Ordinary PVA glue is required when assembling each tray. Please make sure you dry assemble. And I will point this out, go to foldedspace.net, www.foldedspace.net for generally general assembly tips. I did go to those. They have they have presented some new, new um, ways to build, which actually I will be using their new methods here today. So first off, let's see if, are these labeled in any way? So I know which sheets which. Not that I can see. So A is the unique sheet, and then there are pairs. So step one needs all of these. Wow. Okay, so I don't need sheet E. I'm gonna put that off the side. From D, I am going to need this right here. 
So you shouldn't need anything to punch these out. They should just come out, which it did fairly easily. So I am going to need that. And am I making, I must be making two of these. I have to assume. Step one, step two, step three, finish trick. Yeah, so there are two of these. So I am going to have to build two of these. So I will take both of those out. This would be sheet C. I don't need anything. Then on sheet A, oh, oh I'm gonna need two of those, right. And then on sheet A, I need this base. So there we go. Here are the pieces to assemble our first base. So what we do here is these go here and here. So we're going to dry fit this to start. So this is the first tray we will be building. So now their new method they tell you to do is flatten it. Then when you line them up properly, then you take your glue. And then across. Then we stand everything up. Wish they made this look much easier in the video. Square it all off. Remove excess glue. There you have the first piece. From tray A1, that's this. Make sure I have it turned the right way. And that's it from A1. Then B. And then on E. This over here. So again, we're going to start by dry fitting. Props to the people who did their how to do this videos for making this look way easier than it is. All right, dry fit. So this is what we're building next. So again, I'm gonna flatten. Then the same deal, I'm gonna run glue strips horizontally and vertically. So far, much easier than any of the wooden box inserts I've assembled. There we go, part two, done. It's getting glue on my desk. Part three, D1, D2. So I am building two of these. We do have an extra piece here. So same deal as every other time. I'm gonna dry fit first. So technically what they tell you to do is to um, build the entire thing first. Don't do one piece at a time. Like all of this would be assembled, then I would glue it all. So I am, I am going out of, uh, <laughs> slightly out of order here for, for what they'd like you to do. All right, put these together, we're on to glue.
will say compared to the previous builds I've done of folded space, this method they do for the glue is definitely a lot smoother and quicker. Squared off, done. Two inserts. Oh, okay, don't pick them up. Uh, yeah. The parts that I haven't tried yet. This is where you might want that click, quick dry glue. All right, my table is gonna end up with all kinds of glue all over by the end of this, I think. Next, this is first time touch and see. We are building two of these. Two of these, so one of the things, this is, uh, there are some little bits here. You gotta poke out of the middle. Oh, this came out nice and easy. I was expecting to have to grab a knife for that. Flatten everything. Put these here, and then these I think just have to go off the side because I don't see a quick way to put these, glue these otherwise. All right, I'm done with the glue. It's gonna be interesting to see what they tell us to put in this. All right, so this funky tray. Now this one. Definitely a more complicated tray. Still pretty quick. All right, another tray done. But we are done. Page one. Page one, all done. Complete. On to page two. One A. There's only one of these trays. This should be A if I haven't messed anything up. I kind of wish they showed them with the bits that we've already removed missing. Then sheet D1, but not D2. And then E1 and E2. Try assemble, it's what we're making. Ta da! Now the tray. Get near the end. B1 and B2. Ta-da, next piece done. Next, we are going back to sheet B2. Nice and easy. Sheet B is empty, we can give it a B. Same deal, dry fit. No, 
another box. Next, D2. And E1 and 2. Another pretty simple one. Next time we can get a glue sponsorship and I can be like, hey, buy this glue. So I'm kind of wishing I did have the quick dry. Tray 9A, B, C, D. So I need to make four of these. These are all on E1 and 2. E, sheet E, goodbye. That's when you know you're getting near the end. Another sheet E, done. stuff in the box until you build it all. identical trays which will pop up here look at all this stuff we got a lot of different stuff here here we'll turn these this way okay so what we have so far still got more to go one two three more and some may have multiple steps into making scenery for Warhammer or whatever, then you get some cool little bits here. So here, here's what we're ending up with is a tray with a, I don't know why, but it's raised up a bit for some reason. So yeah, their normal method of laying things flat to do blue lines is not going to work this time, unfortunately. We are really getting down to the wire. Two more to go. Then we're all done. C1 and C2. Well, I only have two sheets left. I am honestly going to skip this step here. I am not going to bother doing a dry run. I'm just going to glue that. simple tray. Now the rest of the seeks. Let's 
So one thing I will note the folded space there's a little bit lacking. There's nothing to tell you what goes in each of these. Like online there's pictures and stuff and I'm sure I'll figure it out but it'd be nice to have something. So that might be something I do after the fact is add pictures or something of the components going on. Okay so I, I am a little confused because I still have big chunks here at the bottom. I think I missed something using the C sheet. So right here yeah, somehow I missed a step. It's no problem though. We can do this. Put it, kind of give us some more space again. It has spread, hasn't it? So we have two more trays to build it ends up. Tray 4A and 4B. So how many, there they are. So tray 11, so there were 11 trays. 11 A and B, but some are identical. So these are both right here. I'm finishing on this last section. It's another wonky one. Done. One more. This is actually how I did my first ever build with one of these. Uh, I did this with all the glue and did it all separate and then tried to fit it in and ended up with way too much glue everywhere. This new method they've come up with has definitely improved. All right, we are done. So let's go through what we've built. And then I'm gonna have to go online to find everything. So we have two of this style tray. Again, I don't actually know what each piece is for yet. I'll have to figure that out. Two of those. We have two of these. Nice thin trays. We've got two, four of these trays. We have some low trays, one with a divider, one without. Oh, these are different lengths. Okay. We have two more trays of various lengths over here. So that's the same as this. There we go. This with this. So these stack together somehow. We've got these, two of those. This one's very obviously a card holder and another card holder, and then two larger, probably for the ships. And then one giant honkin one that oddly has a raised bottom. So I am still seeing lots of white here. So what I think I'm gonna do is we are gonna take a break. All right, so it's a pretty tight fit. So you can see here, that, that isn't perfect, but that is not much. That's not sticking up much at all, maybe two millimeters. So here you have the box insert. So a little messy on the rules here. Not the best chips. You can tell they don't quite fit here into the insert. It's so close though. If I didn't have the expansion, maybe. So I'm gonna take all those out and you get to see all the stuff we have here. This is nice and well organized, I gotta say. 
You got all your cards here. There's no reason to ever take this tray out. You got all your hex tiles here for exploring. Your space tiles are all over here. You got another deck box over here. That's I gotta say is a little snug. It's in there a little tight. You've got your three different levels of ships here. This is honestly wasted space. So this is empty. So if there was a future expansion or something else, or if you wanted to organize it different, you've got this. So that's kind of cool. Um, stands for all the ships. Now they did note you could fit the ships in with stands. But that would actually use this. You'd be able to put the stands on and kind of stand them in. Personally, I don't have any problem. You've got various trays with different resources from the game, including your uh, damage and ice crystals, some of your money. You've got the six different resources in the game for trading. Then you've got the player tokens here. Under that, you've got the rest of your money, your exploration tokens, your planetary exploration tokens. And then up in this corner, yeah, tight fit in this corner. It does work though. You have all your upgrades broken out into their own individual trays so you can hand them out to players. And yes, this is all foam core. It is foam core and thus nice and light. Because this was a heavy game with all the metal tokens already and all the pre-painted miniatures. It's, yeah, that doesn't feel significantly heavier than it did when I opened it. There you go. I'd show you a before and after picture, but I can't do that because everything's already been reboxed. But compared to what was in here, I think that's fantastic. So there you have it. Um, everything you get in the folded space Zaya insert, the FS Zaya insert for Zaya's Legend of Drift System from Far Off Games. Uh, it took under an hour to build, and that was actually really nice. Um, they did provide a new method of gluing that I think worked really well. Uh, you can find that on their website. So this is what you get in the box. There are nine layers a foam core, a bunch of duplicates, you got a, um, a unique sheet, and then a bunch of pairs. Uh, you're going to build a total of a, a ton of sheet streams, a ton of little tiny boxes. Everything fit back in the box almost perfectly. I will note there is a small gap you can kind of see. You got a couple millimeters where the box lid's going to stick up. But you know what? To me, that's totally worth it. Again, this is how it comes in the box. This is how it looks once you get it all together. So thank you very much for joining me for this tabletop bellhop room upgrade where I have moved Zaya into a new room where it's going to be much happier and hopefully hit the table even more often. So I am Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. You can find our website at tabletopbellhop.com where we answer your gaming and game night questions. If you've got a game night question for me, just head over to that webpage, click on Ask the Bellhop, or send an email to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. Now we did do some new stuff for this unboxing today, now using two cameras, which the I have to thank our Patreon patrons for being able to do these upgrades and constantly improve our show. If you like what you saw today and would like to help our continued efforts, please visit patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. That's it for me. I am Mo, the Tabletop Bellhop. Good night and game on.